Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Jackass Retro. My name is Matt and today is part five of our haul uh, from a recent ephemera and postcard buy from a local collector. So if you want to check out some of the previous videos, we've gone over a couple of boxes of postcards, a couple of boxes of ephemera. Uh, today we're going to round out the ephemera and then for tomorrow's video uh, we're going to do the last box of postcards. So make sure you're subscribed. If you like this kind of content, hit the like button. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, so here's the box we left off with last time uh, when we were so rudely interrupted by Buster. So we'll start here. I also pulled out this stuff um, and this stuff. So there's another whole pile of things we'll be adding on here as well. But we got a uh, nice Starbucks Beijing. This is one of those city mugs. Uh... Wow, look at that, 58 bucks. So we'll definitely be looking that one up. And then this very cool Goodyear Ashtray, sales training department, Goodyear, really nice. This, I've sold a lot of Goodyear Ashtrays over the last couple years. They all do very well. And this one, definitely unique from what I've seen. So that's awesome. And we got some like pins and patches. USS Plain View. Now move through these quickly because we're gonna have a nice political pin. Here's lumber and sawmill workers union pin. Tomorrow is irrigation festival. Doesn't that I kind of thought that was a skull when I first looked at it. Squim, Washington. Nice Yamaha patch. On the wing. I don't need that. Smokey the Bear. This one's really nice. Very, like, embroidered. It's thick. Trident. Felt patch, looks like military. Walter Mitty Challenge, Atlanta. I love patches, patches are great. This is, not sure this one, could be racing, probably racing is my guess. Peanuts pin. Keeping it 100. Boy Scouts of America, Project Soar. Sheriff Department, Los Angeles County. San Diego, another Boy Scout pin. Or patch rather. Nice. Uh, this is Crystal Mountain local ski resort. Yeah. Michael Jackson vintage pin. Definitely, definitely vintage. We can tell that pretty easy. Oh yeah, that'll do well. comic pinback button. So always look on the back of the old pinbacks. Look at that. That can help me date it. These things can be very collectible and you always want it when you see the printing on the inside like that. It's usually a good sign. Sun Valley Ski Pin, Jimi Hendrix Pin, looks older, we've got RM Massac Badge and Pin, Amtrak Pin, Multinational Force and Observers. 
Featherlight racing suit. So that's a cool racing patch. <coughs> Pete. Probably political. Another local one, Pin Dome. King Dome, rather. It's missing the back. But that's okay because I've got a ton of those little things on the back there. King Dome uh, used to be where the Seattle Mariners play. It, they blew it up in the 90s uh, to build Safeco Field. Mason County Forest Festival, 1952. Nice old Austin company. That's probably celluloid based on the kind of feel of that thing. Red Cross, Solicitor, City Light. So yeah, we got some good good pins and buttons and patches here. Get a lot of Scandinavian stuff here in the Northwest because there's a, especially in Seattle, a lot of Scandinavian roots in the fishing. Prude, haha. <laughs> That's an old one, too. I might keep that. Let's see what we have stuck in here. Oops. Another Peanuts. Snoopy. That's an easy fix. They made these things. Can't do it with one hand, I don't think, but maybe I can. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Port Angeles Symphony. Ooh, that's a really nice one. Bicentennial pin back. Nice gold. Excellent. If you don't know, one way you can date these pins, an older pin, you'll see this. That, that pointy sticking off the end there. That's before they made laws to make sure that you had these backings similar to that so people weren't stabbing themselves. Safety regulations. All right, let's take a look here. So first, let's uh, take, we got a good old Donny Osmond here. Tiger Beat Magazine. Oh my God. David Cassidy, Donny Osmond. Got a Michael Jackson. Yeah. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. All right. Got a Watchman in the case. Sony. Looks like good condition. It's got the antenna. I know this ain't ephemera, but hey. I mean, you can't pick anything up on these, but they're still collectibles. We'll see if that, even if it doesn't work, it'll be sellable. An old photograph here. There's the gallery in Chicago. Nice two borg. This almost looks like um, rosemead pottery. Let's see if we have uh, now. But it's a nice, still a nice piece of ceramic, anyways. All right, this I saw, 1986. Sales Rally Pepsi Cola belt buckles in in the box like that's just these are probably pretty rare soda collectors are gonna love these like it's from a sales rally so this is probably something they gave out to all the salespeople back in 1986 I highly doubt there's very many of these on the market this should do extremely well Giant, giant pin back button. Very cool. All right. These old banks, they can do pretty well. This one's missing the mechanism, but Banthico is the, you'll see these, these show up all over the place all the time. And there is a good collector's market for them. Uh, it'll sell even without the mechanism. Um, so this guy knew I liked belt buckles. Oh, 
Here, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. Just a nude photograph. Can't sell it on eBay. Washington National Guard, Air National Guard. That's a great belt buckle. Hitline USA. He knows I, I, I'm into belt buckles, so he, he included a bunch of these. Nice company belt buckle. Here's a big old Husky Hall of Fame campaign probably given away to donors for this particular campaign. Got another belt buckle here. Smith Gruner. Here's an old San Francisco brewing company. It's the porcelain bottle cap. Believe it or not, these things can be extremely valuable. Another one of these Smith Rumors. Here's a very nice crumb rind, probably 24 karat gold plate. Crumb rind, manufacturing, bronze. So, regardless, crumb rind belt buckles, they're all beautiful and they can sell for good, good, good money, as I expect that one too. Got a nice key figural kind of belt buckle for Taylor DL. So that could ap appeal to both, you know, key collectors as well as um, belt buckle guys. So this is a bottle tag, Imperial Union. This is old. This is very old. I'll have to look this up, but I I expect that this probably has some value to it, this little piece of metal. Oh no, it's a sp suspender clip. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is a very, it's still very old. Then we got a little bit of ephemera here. Uh, talked about in some of the previous ones, these travel booklets. The Atom and the Ocean, U.S. Atomic Energy Commission. You know, we get a fair amount of this stuff kind of showing up. It always does really well. Um, you know, we're, uh, it's not far here from a couple of nuclear power plants and a nuclear, nuclear submarine base. So we find, you know, stuff from the atomic age and uh, about nuclear power showing up pretty often and I've sold quite a bit of it. It's it's really interesting stuff So this one it'll be fun to look at and to research. Oh Wow Zooliner this is See if we can find it Yeah, the Portland Zoo It's a big postcard But check that train out so cool. I read I don't think I ever saw that thing. Uh, another, you know, nude photo. Oh, and another one. You're not here for that. This ain't that kind of channel. Little Eskimo boy. This might, uh, this would be a difficult one to list. I think it's probably out there from 19, what? You've got unveiling the statue of John Paul Jones, 1912. Navy Department. So this is probably local, I'm guessing. Washington, yep. 1912. Very cool. So nice local piece. Former library, but that's okay. Um, probably not a lot of these out there. So that's going to be a nice piece for somebody who collects local. Here's another a kind of tourist history book. Got some matchbook covers.
And I believe one of these is a feature matchbook, if I'm not mistaken. This is, I, knew, I saw this when I was picking it up, Pizza and Pipes. When I was a kid, this place had uh, organs. Uh oh, I need to pause the video here, folks. My cats are being frisky. Okay, we're back. Pizza and Pipes is a local, local pizza place with a giant Wurlitzer organ inside. Um, we got some matchbook covers. You guys, you, if you see piles of vintage matches at a, an estate sale, you get them. Search for feature matchbooks in solds. There's a United Airlines. And I'll show you what a feature matchbook is. Here we go. This is Top of the Ocean. Tacoma, Washington. And a feature matchbook looks a little like this where this one has printed on it all these different things it's unfortunately missing one of the black ones but that's okay uh, won't be able to get top top dollar for it but still will sell well these matchbooks that have features in them can have all kinds of things I've seen them with like where each one is a leg or a hand or you know has something different printed on like this one they can go for big money See here, we just got some, some other like here's a bicentennial one. This is amazing, still sealed in the plastic. We've got a button. We've got the T's. This is this is this is a great find. I can't wait to get this up there. This is going to go quick, and it's going to go for good money. We've got a old wrench, hazel, photograph of the SS Pomona, and then this is a vintage Gerber sheath for a pocket knife. Uh, I'm just going to hold on to this until I find a Gerber knife that needs a sheath. All right, that's all for this bunch of stuff. I'm going to clean this up and then get to the next pile. Okay. Here is pretty much the rest of the non-postcard items. This one I am keeping. This is going to be installed over my back door. Super cool old architectural salvage. This is really thick glass, even though it's got a crack in it. I don't care, it's awesome, I'm keeping it. S signed, numbered, original art. Really nice piece here. Um, I recognize this artist. Um, or it's, it's lithographed, my mistake, but yeah, number 100 out of 750. Really nice. Nice uh, cafe paint. So this is, looks like it's uh, maybe military related. Some more lithographs. So this is, these are United Airlines. So we've got San Francisco, so it's looking like 30s, 40s, somewhere in there. They're nice. Uh, they need to be mount, mounted or protected. I don't like having them loose like this. That's a great one. And then Rainbow Falls, Hawaii. Pardon me. Some bicycle stuff, crescent bicycles. This looks like maybe it's a clipping. 
more and looks like there might be some more behind that there this is a looks like a chocolate wrapper yep with some advertising monarch bicycles rambler bicycles Uh, this he told me about. These are Washington State Forest Rangers. We've got a date. Um, super cool. His uh, uh, the person I bought from had a relative who was a ranger, so he had a nice connection to that local newspaper. The Seattle Post Intell Intelligencer now defunct. Nice, like, advertising card. A store would put this up to let people know they sold the PI. The Blue Angels, 1975. They've been flying over Seattle for Seafair as long as I can remember. Uh, I lived in a place once where they used, used our house as a turnaround marker. Here's another one, 1977. These will do well. May not be huge money, but they'll definitely sell. We've got a Kanoko Tour Aid. These are always, these are very well collected. Got a product catalog for Delco Remy regulators. People collect these too. They like the art, product art. Look at these. Like stuff like this, I would never pass up at an estate sale if I could get it inexpensively. And the thing is, most people don't think this stuff is valuable. So you can usually get it pretty inexpensively. Got a uh, photograph of the, I believe it's B6 or B12 bomber. Uh, Boeing made this locally. You find I've I've found tons of stuff on uh, around this. We've got the Metropolitan Opera House. Looks like a schedule or program. Nineteen seventeen to nineteen eighteen. Oh wow, some great advertising. Got a Columbia Records advertisement here. Wow, this is cool. Nope. So this is yeah. It looks like this is the um, record, the uh, season schedule for the Opera House. Oh, nice. Looks like a either a window decal or a transfer pattern for a t-shirt. Never used. Super cool. Super cool. Then we've got Chicago Civic Opera Company. Another program, opera program from... 1911 doesn't have as much advertising but very cool even considering the date Grand Canyon oh nice this is this is a nice piece this is looks like mounted lithographs or photographs from the Grand Canyon nice national park piece oh Fred Harvey so Fred Harvey um, if you don't know uh, owned a large uh, chain of hotels uh, even before the dawn of the automobiles but really became uh, very renowned once uh, the you know automobile became popular so he had a huge chain of hotels so find a lot of Fred Harvey postcards and there's a good number of Fred Harvey collectors out there as well 
Oh wow, this is neat. Photograph of looks like maybe some trappers or hound, you know, just hunters. Those look like black bear pelts. And a taxidermied bear there. Or maybe just a fresh kill. I like this die cut Swanson chicken. Naval ordnance and gunnery. So some of this stuff you can sell, some of it you can't. It really depends on if it's been decommissioned by the military and, and uh, declassified. It really, you have to look it up. I mean, this was at one time restricted, but this is World War II era. So still a neat piece. You've got all kinds of very cool art diagrams of major caliber turret installation. Very cool. I mean, it's not the best condition, but um, you know, some of this stuff can do extremely well if I can sell it. Alright, some more of these um, tourist booklets. We got the History of Key West. We got the Bulletin of the National Historical Railway Society from 1969. That's very cool. Jasper National Park, Canadian Rockies. And the eruptions of Lassen Park Peak, rather, California. Kind of moving quickly here, so I have enough storage on my phone. And we've got some photographs. Oh wow, they're all kind of falling out here. But here's some tractors and farm equipment. This is going to be fun to go through. All kinds of stuff. All, all appears to be farming, which is great. I like, like that kind of stuff. Here's a very old piece of paper. No idea what this might be. Looks like a catalog of some kind of something art related, perhaps a catalog of art. Puget Sound Profiles, 1960s. Here's a uh, Seahawks 10 year anniversary. So probably from the uh, late 80s, early 90s, I don't remember what year would have been their 10th. And then a historical book on Penn's Cove, which is here in Washington. Got a bunch of these Northwest fishing guides. These are, you know, put these in the newspaper box back in the day. Great color to it. Nice local, nice local piece. Should do all right with that. Here's a book on Japanese ink painting. Got a The Lays of Hawaii. Nice book. So much stuff here. This is super cool. Let's see if we can get this up here. So, he was telling me about this. This is all original cartoons from uh, this person here, W.E. Clement. And there's gra his, his, this is his portfolio. I don't wanna. And he thinks that he was doing um, the art for top secret government work. 
So these would be like the covers to dossiers. Either that or he was just, you know, doing proposals for them, you know, proposed artwork. Regardless, there's some pretty amazing original art in here. So I'm going to do a little research on this guy, dig in some more, and see if I can find out anything on him. Another concert program. Oh my gosh, we're going to get to the end of this. Oh, I have heard this story the day, yeah. This is when they had to fix Niagara Falls. That's a cool story. Go look that up. Got another program, Washington State Hairdressers Association. Believe it or not, I this is going to go very well very happy with this here's another looks like transfer pattern for the Navy looking for adventure clay masonry fallout shelters and finally some more uh, signed lith lithography of a Browns Point lighthouse so there we have all right, well, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all very much for watching. If it's your first time here and you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing, or you can just hit the like button. Leave me a comment, and there's some other ways you can support the channel down below as well. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing our last box postcards. It's mostly some more modern Chrome ones. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.